Hey guys, my name is Salman MKC or Salman Shisti, and today we're just going to be going through how to reverse a linked list. It's quite a common problem, I assume, in interviews, and it's quite useful to know how to do. So we'll just jump straight into it, and instead of me explaining all of this text and saying, oh, this is how it works, I'll just give you a visual representation. So what we can do, we'll have one of these, and... So, for example, this is the input. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, null. The, your output will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, null. So, null is always going to be the last thing. So, what we would do is we would have... Uh, so, I'll just do the iterative solution. There's also a recursive solution, but it has time complexity and space complexity of O, N, and O, N. Uh, the iterative solution is O, N, time complexity, and space complexity of O, 1. So constant. So we'll just do that. So with the initial head being one, what we're going to do is we're going to set the next of one to be null, right? But when we set the next of one to be null, we're going to lose track of two and the rest of the list. Because the reason is a node in a singly linked list only has reference to the next and it has its own data value, right? So as soon as we set the next, we lose track of the rest. So we will store the next node in a node variable before we set the next of one to be null, right? So we've done that, right? And we have this basically. And we've stored this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to update the variable which we had null in before. We're going to set that node variable to now hold 1 and we'll set the next of 2 to be 1 after obviously what we need to do is we need to store 3 in the new temp variable and we'll set this the next of 2 to be 1 right? and then we'll keep doing that until there's no more nodes and until basically we're at null again right? so we can just go straight into the problem now. Hopefully you guys followed that. So we'll create a node and that will be the previous and we'll set that to null. And then we'll also have a another node and we'll, we'll call that current, right? And we'll set that to the head. We do not need this. It's just to make it easier to read and that's what you want your code to be. You want the interviewer to be able to understand what you're doing and it's just more readable as opposed to keep if you keep writing head then head dot next um yeah actually actually right you could you could like do that but it just might not look as easy to follow i'm just going round in a roundabout now so yeah so what we will do we'll have a while loop and we're going to say whilst current is not equal to null right we will we will get the next variable. Remember, we as I mentioned, we need to store the next variable before we set the next. So we're going to do that. So we're going to just make a node. Oh, sorry, linked list, and we're going to set that to be temp node. And we'll say that is equal to the current dot next. Right, so now we've got in this example we've got two um two stored in that and that has reference to the rest of the list. So now we can manipulate the next of current to be previous. Now we can update previous to be the current, and then we can say current is now equal to the temp node that we just created. And that will keep looping until we have hit a, um, until we have current which is null, right? And then we just return the previous because previous is the starting node, and that's it. So yeah, if we can just try run it, hopefully it works. I mean it will, um, and we can just demonstrate how it works again. So we're gonna have one. Right, we're going to set the previous to null, current to head. We're going to say the temp node is going to be from 2. And we're going to set the current to next to be null. So now 
what we can do is we're going to say the previous is now equal to 1. Right, and then we're going to set the current to now be 2. And then that keeps looping until the whole list is done. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, excuse my terrible drawings. But I hope it made sense to you guys. I mean, you could try this in Java. It's basically the exact same thing. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. There's not much point. I'm sure there's other tutorials. I know there's not as many on C Sharp, so yeah so if you guys want more of these uh, i can try to do that um it's been salmon and kissy leave a like subscribe and comment down below if you have any problems and yeah see you guys later bye bye